We forget what to do here, don't we? All right, guys. Hello. Welcome Hello. back to. <laughs> Restarted. New guest. Yeah, this is uh, this is Scully's evil twin. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to episode ten of English to Canadian translations, mm -hmm. and this is going to be a season break after this. This is a season finale. Um, <laughs> what do we do now? Oh wait, so yeah, this week is a theme, and it's food theme. So is it every week a theme? Yeah, every week's been a theme. Yeah, this but is this, another theme. So thank you everyone who voted on Instagram. Yeah, we'll do a car one, and we'll resume the season again i don't know when mm. maybe when what should we say when the season will resume when you get 150 subscribers all right that's fair yeah okay so mm. if i hit 150 subscribers we'll continue with part two of english to canadian translations mm. you're gonna start right okay all right word number one tim is tim so in england when you go to the grocery store or the supermarket as yeah. we say yeah. we say supermarket don't we? yeah yeah you're gonna go food shopping that's, yeah. that's what i just say you're in food shopping you go, food shop. you go to the, down the aisles and you find all the the tins mm -hmm. and you buy a tin of baked beans heinz baked beans a tin of soup a tin of soup yeah. can't go wrong yeah so you're hungry but out here what's the canadian version scully i don't know why i looked <laughs> <laughs> i know it got it's, confused it's can yeah, there you go. It's a tin, tin, tin can. Tin can is, and it's weird, isn't it? It's the same. I don't know what to we, think about that. Is it because we've lived here long enough? Yeah, but you know what? Can? I think I've already, I've, I think I've always said can of tuna. Tin of tuna. I don't, I don't, I don't know if I've ever said tin of tuna. Say tin of beans. Yeah, that's weird, right? And we call it a tin, they call it a can, but it's a tin can, so <laughs> it's very, uh... There, okay, so tin and can, there's the difference. <laughs> Word two. Yeah, is, um... Wait, what's the English word first? Oh, I always get this big no, 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 no. I never know what <laughs> to say. The English word is... Rocket. Rocket. Don't forget these are all food themed, so don't think actual space rocket. Yeah. Yeah. So rocket is... Well, we can't, we, it's going to be difficult to explain to them unless we give the Canadian word. Oh yeah, so rocket over here is called arugula. So I think, oh, I have a story for this one actually. I used to work at the Good Sun restaurant when it was pre-covid and the chef's just explaining like the specials he's explaining each of the meals and it comes to the the salad and he's talking about arugula all the time and i'm thinking to myself this guy's a professional chef like he's got it wrong how can this be mm. it's, it's gonna be weird if i You're say to him what the hell was yeah i'm thinking about? what's arugula that's what i'm thinking in my head is like, it's gonna be embarrassing if i tell him he got it wrong and then obviously i mentioned it to him it's like isn't that rocket and he goes, no, no, in Canada it's called arugula. I was like, oh, thank God. Like, I was confused for the whole time during the dinner prep. <laughs> so, if you get a chance, go eat there because their food's amazing. And they actually make the best burgers on Queen Street West. Yeah, oh, that's based with the burgers. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, that place. You plum! <laughs> <laughs> what a plum! I don't know what it's called, cool, but yeah, that, that place has got wicked burgers. Exactly, go yeah. Go there. That's a good time to support local business. All right. Word, <laughs> word three. Courgette is a courgette so courgette do you, do you, first of all before we say anything what do you think a courgette is i don't know how long to wait uh no okay so what is the canadian word scully a zucchini they both sound foreign <laughs> unless you're a scientist and you're into your plants these plant things are weird basically like a zucchini is just weird and a courgette well Bullshit. Well, what did you describe it earlier? Uh, weird looking <laughs> cucumber. Here you go. So we'll put a picture right here in the middle of us. So that's what a courgette is. Yeah. Uh, they're actually really nice. We have it in, in Cyprus and Greece. We have a dish called moussaka. Mm. Moussaka? It's moussaka. Moussaka? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Usually it's in that dish. It's lovely. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So courgette is zucchini. Word four. Word four is aubergine. Aubergine. What is an aubergine? Now everyone should know this because it's part of the emoji symbols on your iPhone and Android. I think it's become famous just because of the emoji. It symbolizes another part of the human body, the male form. What is it? A phallus. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what that What's means. What's a phallus? Come on, man, they should know. <laughs> yeah, do you know where I got that word from? Mm. Jamie Clarkson. <laughs> oh, in the face! <laughs> <laughs> I 
So yeah, word four is aubergine. aubergine. And the Canadian equivalent is? Put a big eggplant here now. Oh yeah, we'll put a picture <laughs> here. But that's what the word is, eggplant. Eggplant. They put it in moussaka as well, I think. Oh, is it in yeah. there as well? You missed it! Yeah, you Damn missed it! That. That's going to be another compilation, actually. All right, word number five. <laughs> what is the word? Word five is coriander. Coriander. Why is my hat not straight? You can tell I'm OCD, innit? <laughs> so coriander. I don't know where to go from that. Really. I don't know how to explain this. We were both I, servers. I right? always thought coriander and parsley were the same thing. But over here they call it... Cilantro. Or cilantro. Yeah, oh, do you know what? That's disgusting, <laughs> man. <laughs> cilantro. I didn't say cilantro. Yeah, man, we just said it. We did. Did you forget? Uh, so that was it. <clears throat> Short and sweet. That was the end of episode 10. That is the season break of English to Canadian translations. I don't know what else to say, but thank you for all for watching. Comment down below what is your favorite word? Uh, what is your favorite scenes from previous episodes? Yeah. So we can do a compilation, we'll do voting. Who wants to see the outtakes? There's oh so yeah, many outtakes. so there's a lot of unseen stuff. So again, what do you want to see? We'll put, I'll put votes on my Instagram as well, whether it's just us laughing, the best words, best scenes, whatever it may be, put, put your comments down. Like, are we welcome? Best t shirt I've won. Yeah, oh my god, the best fails. But yeah, we'll, we're gonna be continuing to do more videos. What would you like yeah. us to do next? Yeah, so we appreciate all the comments that come in. I think that covers it. Until next time. Until next time. So thank you everyone for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and we'll see you. In the future at some point. Oh, or next week. Uh, important question. Oh, not again. Any French knickers? This no, week? still no. <laughs> Come on, guys. Just send in one pair. Girls. <laughs> oh, sorry, girl. <laughs> Peace.